Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Karibuni sana sana sana. Uh, I hope you are all doing well and I hope you are keeping safe. Uh, yeah, karibuni sana in my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking in and uh, I welcome you all. Guys, um, I kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. For those who have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm just asking for your subscription and I'll be so much grateful. Yeah, so today um, I want to answer some questions that I've gotten from some of you guys. Uh, after I did my last video for introduction, uh, I got some questions that came through in my inbox so this is a video of you getting to know me better than you did in my last video so without further ado let's do this so on to my first question on the, okay i have copied them in, uh, in my notebook because i'm using my phone to record the video and i could not so I, I had to take the questions and put them in my in my notebook here and I'll be answering how many questions? 13 questions. There are 13. There were so many but some were just the same questions so I just took them and they totaled to 13 but there were more than 20 questions. So stay tuned. Let's do this. So on my first question this question came as this mm -hmm. where did you grow up from okay in my last video i said i'm from kenya <laughs> just that but my kenyan people want to know where i come from exactly where i come from so i am from nyandarwa county well jororok sub county and Gadaji word. Which word or word? Gadaji word. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. But mostly when I'm telling people where I am from, even when I was back in Kenya, mostly I used to say I'm from Nyahururu because when I say I'm from Orjororok, actually there was a person who asked me, is Orjororok not a Maasai name? I said, I don't know. I just thought there is a place by the name Orjororok. I don't know. So I'm used to saying I'm from Nyahururu because Nyahururu atandio minajua town ya kwetu. It's close to my place, close to my home. So when I say I'm from Nyahururu, I feel ukondo home. Yeah, so I'm from Nyahururu. <laughs> yeah, I hope I've answered that. Uh, my second question was, mm -hmm, this is about my family. There are some questions about my family and I'll, I'll gladly answer them. How many are you in your family? We are six of us. I am the fourth born. And we are four girls and two boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the other question was, <laughs> this is funny. Who do you resemble, your mom or your dad? When you wanna do a map, who do I resemble? Most of people tell me I resemble my mom. And I feel the same way. When I look at my mom, even in her photos, I feel we look the same. Actually, I know I tell her, hey mom, okwa mstiano luko na fanana na mimi bila na kasai. Yeah, then she makes fun like, ukizeka utaka utafanana na mimi. But she's beautiful. So even when I grow older, I know I'll be beautiful too. Yeah. So the other question, but I think still. My mom is tall, my dad is short, so I'm short. So I took the looks of my mom and the height of my dad. Yeah. So the other question is, <laughs> were your parents tough and who was more tough? <laughs> so guys, for those who don't know, I'm a PK. Do you know what a PK means? <laughs> I know most of you don't know. A PK means I'm a pastor's kid. 
So if you ask me whether my parents were tough, just by saying I'm a pastor's kid, you can get to know that, yeah, they were tough. But dad was more tough than my mom. Wow, my dad was tough. But I thank God for him because it's because of him and God that I am where I am today. He molded me, both my parents. Of, in, in fact, we normally say our dad was tough, but I can count the number of times when dad beat me. But mom, there are countless times. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> but what my dad used to do, I, alikuwa na tuchapa cold war. Hmm? Ungefanya kitu, then dada seme, unajua nini? Today you are not eating supper. You go to bed hungry. Oh, all. You're in the kitchen, na ni ushago, kuna giza, kuna steam. By that time there was no lights, but at least today there, there is electricity. So, he could, uh, he could tell you to go out in the darkness, Ukae nje like for 20 minutes all alone. Ushago umefukuzwa nje juu umekosea. Ukae 20 minutes nje peke yako. Yeah, and I remember there is this guy our neighbor. Uh, he used he was our family friend and he used to come to our place. So when we were kids, alikuwa anatuambia ati atigiza uongea ati imewahi muongelesha ikamuuliza <laughs> who are you <laughs> so when you are sent out by your dad by my dad you are like eh sana ngoja tu hizo inyongeleshe that's how my dad used to punish us he could also tell you to go to bed without eating yeah or you do some other stuffs Ange kwambia uta, utalima shamba akupimie na utalima peke yako. So those were the kinds of punishment we used to get from our dad and he felt hey, aki dad unakuanga mkali. But dad I love you, you know. Yeah, it's because of that that I am where I am today. And dad big up. So the other question, nimekasa na hapo. Who is your role model? Oh, that's a good one. My role model is my dad and my mom. It's as simple as that. <laughs> What's your favorite food? My favorite food is uh-huh. I have so many favorite food. Um but what I love most is kienyeji. Kienyeji this food we call kienyeji for wakikuyu, mokimo and give very plain give very and of course ugali ugali na kitoyo yoyote i can eat and of course i love meat yes napenda nyama that's my favorite food yeah the next question um what movies do you love watching movies i love action movies and crime movies <laughs> i love crime movies so much you know why not because i'm a criminal no not because i'm intending to be one no but i just love watching my interest to those movies are normally to the main characters and of course when you are a fight maybe to get the criminals the intelligence anatomia Kushikao criminals. That's what I love seeing. So mostly I'm not into the criminals themselves. I'm to the person who is working to get those criminals. In action movies, I just love those noises. You see, when those noises, when you are watching action movies, you can tell, I love, love, love watching action movies. It's like they go in hand with crime movies. Yeah, they are like the same yeah uh -huh. the other one is what do you love for your looks in terms of clothing and hair let me start with my hair 
my hair is just simple because I have dreadlocks. I decided to put dreadlocks when I knew I was coming to United States because some of my friends here used to tell me, eh, hey, apa, kitambu pate mtu wakushuka, utaka, alafu, it's very expensive, of which it is true. So, it's either ukuja umenyoa, ama weke dreadi. Dreadi at least, you can do them by yourself. And by the way, I do retouch my hair, as you can see, takama ime chapa chapa kidogo. I do repair my hair by myself because sina mtu wa kunitengeneza. So I had to learn how to do it. I'll do a video doing my hair. So I'll talk more about that when I'll be doing that video. So about my clothing, what I love is just being decent. I love trousers and tops. I love dresses, fitting ones. Yeah, all those eyes out there as in it to share because of what I gave birth just recently. And hey, ni me nona ni me puff as you can see my <laughs> ni me puff ku puff. Yeah, so um, na penda jeans sana, na penda fancy tops as you can see this one I'm wearing is a fancy one. Let me let me put this phone properly. Is it a phone or a camera? Let me call it a camera for now. So I just love fancy things, fancy tops, and mostly jeans because I feel like they fit me properly. And yeah, and fitting dresses, not mini dresses and not long ones, just above the knees slightly. It's on this on a banga maybe when I'm going to church. Yeah, but the other days I do jeans and tops. Yeah, that's what I love for my clothing. The other question is, do you love, do you love makeup? Look at me now. Mm? What do you think? Already you got the answer, right? Yes, I love makeup, but I'm learning, I'm still learning how to do it. Oh my god, let me tell you, I take like two hours. Napakanga natoa, napaka natoa, juu naona, ay, badu ijatuka vizuri. Yeah? So, kaa kuna mtu aneza nifundisha kupaka makeup, ebu muniambi how to do it and what to start and what to finish with. Yeah? But hivi muna niona ni mii nimejipaka si ati nimepaka wana mtu. So, I'm trying. I, I'm trying kwanza with my, with my eyebrows. Hey, yeah? I feel I'm getting there. Yeah, na practicing sana kupaka makeup. Yeah. So I love I love I love makeup. Yes, I do. So the other question is hey, what is it that pisses you off in a person? So what pisses me off is when a person tries to put himself there up there and put me down. Yani mtu anajinionyesha ye ako juu kuniliko. Nikisiki wale watu wa kujisifu by the way oh my god how do you piss off kabisa kabisa. Ama kuna watu wenye every time you meet with that person they will never tell you anything positive about you. For instance, sasa hivi leo mnaniona tupatane na mtu and you be kai bit you me overdo makeup and you bit hapa gari tu aunge paka hiyo makeup imagine labda mahali niko siezi itoa already ni mahali nimefika maybe i'm not in my house i don't have the makeup kit alafu mtu amekwambia tu hivyo huyo mtu si amekuharibia siku yeah okay there is maybe i napenda kukorektiwa lakini do it in a mature way. Mtu anaweza niambia in a mature way means the same same story about makeup. Mtu anaweza kuja niambie ABT. Hey, eh hey, leo umeamua kupaka makeup, yeah? Wow. But I think hiyo lipstick umepaka. Yaani vile unakaa saa hii, awisha ungepaka hiyo lipstick ya maroon upake ya red. Aki bitu ungekuwa mwa. Huyo mtu hajani rebuke. Huyo mtu ameniambia so next time nikijipaka hivyo 
I remember kuna mtu aliniambia ungepaka lipstick ya red badala ya maroon. So, huyo haezi tufanya nisikie eh akielewa watu wananiona wananibeba aje. But ule wa kwanza mwenye aliniambia oh kwani ulijipaka makeup huyo atafa every time the whole day or the whole day utashinda tu ukijiambia uko ndani yako kai sasa watu wananiona aje sasa mbona nilijipaka hii makeup sasa siku itawaacha lini niende nikatoe you see so spend those kind of people yeah so sana sana mtu mwenye anajieka juu mtu mwenye anajaribu ku kuku kukuloa sana when you are when you are doing something when you are talking wanakuonyesha yes mimi ndo najua kila kitu wewe nyamaza niongee those are the kind of people who pisses me off yeah okay by the way ebu niambieni you guys comment down below and tell me what pisses you off in a person i would love to know yeah okay. the next question is mhm Oh now this one is about why I'm here okay inasema how is life like in america life is good <laughs> life is good here as i said i cannot complain i cannot compare my life here and the way i used to live in kenya it's way much better so I cannot complain but here you have to work hard but your hard work always pays it's not like Kenya I don't see people from Kenya don't work or from Africa I know they do work hard but una work hard but haupati kitu hapa as long as as long as unafanya kazi you have to get something yeah you have to get good money na uweze jipata kwa madeni kwa sababu here you get paid either in one week's time or two weeks time hakuna ile mshahara ya monthly unafanya kazi unalipwa mwisho wa wiki ama after two weeks so you can imagine and it's good money yeah it's good money so you never go into debt because at least money is coming as you work you can imagine even in Kenya if people used to be paid weekly or every two weeks life could be better Madeni ya watu hawangeingia kwa madeni utajipanga na hiyo tu. Sasa unapatanga home unalipwa mwisho wa mwezi ulishaanza kukopa madeni on 15th juu pesa iliisha by the time Edmund ifike ume umekopa umekopa mshahara ikikuja unalipa madeni you are broke again. Tena unatafuta watu wengine wa kukopeshea. So life here is good in short. I don't complain. I, I love it here though I miss home. I miss home. But since I nilikuja kutafuta cha tutafute do. So the other question. Why did you relocate to United States? Why? Hey, it's simple. I relocated because I came to seek for greener pastures. <laughs> Kenya ilinikata Oh, my sorry to say it by the way nilikuwa nimehaso nimengangana nimengangana nime together with my husband and i remember one of our aunt told us by the way hiyo kitu nimesema it's my aunt who told me she came to visit me and told me eh hey, bt okay by that time it's the time we were doing the processes of coming here so i think she felt ah wacha tu nimwambie jo after all she anaenda hata feel So she told me, "Hey BT, aki Kenya imewakata and then it to US. Ju alikuwa ameona venye nilikuwa tulikuwa tumia struggle na mabiashara na they are not working out." But that it's a story for another day. Guy, nitawaambia mimi baka by the time nilikuwa natoka Kenya, nilikuwa nafanyia job kwa kibada ya mabati imeriswa hivi juu. Kibada ya mabati but you need to read your screen gine leo i was not to talk about that but very soon i'll talk about it yeah so but si semi biashara za vibada ni mbaya anyway but what i mean is nilitoka juu kwa nyumba ya mawe nyumba ni kwa nalipa 10k nikateremka nikateremka nikajipata kwa kibanda bado nangangana paka nikafunga 
let me not go into detail about that i'll do a video of that uh, and by the time by that time i'll be encouraging people about life too uh, because i feel in me um, i can talk to people i can encourage people that's what i feel like doing yeah and mostly when I talk to people, they get encouraged and they tell me, yeah, bitiaki, you many encouraged, bitiaki, you many idea, stress is in Asia, Asia. I feel good. So, but me, I'll be doing more talks like this, like the sitting talks. I just talk to you guys and you tell me, you ask me questions and I answer them, yeah, about life and about how to do about things, yeah. So let me go on. The other question is, hey, who do you look up to in terms of inspiration and encouragement? Okay, this one I have three people who I look up to. Number one, God. God is my pillar. God is my everything. So I look up to God. I look up to God always. And you guys, you should look up to God always. Because okay? God will never fail you. So always look up to God. Number two, my parents, my daddy and mommy. Dad, mom, hey, hey. I don't want to talk much, but I look up to my parents because... I feel they are the best to look up to. I feel they are the best maybe even to ask some questions about life. I think they are the best people to talk about my life, my family, because even the Bible says, Mzazi ni mguwako pili. So from God, next is my parents, my dad and mom, because they will never lead you to astray hawatai kuambia kitu yenye ita ita kufail hata kama ita fail your parents intention is always good hata kama kitu amekwambia ufanye ime fail usifikirie that the intention of your parent was to fail no the intentions of your parent are always good for you so that's why my parents I look up to them, yeah, and I love them. Of course, I do. I love them so much. And there is this one guy now I look up to. Uh, I started following him not long ago because I came to know about him. I think, yeah, he started this thing of his. I don't know. I don't know, but I think 2018, but I'm not sure. But that's when I started watching, and I think they were just beginning. Ili bidata niandike jina yake juu na shida ngwa kuisoma. Anajitanga Daman, Daman. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it correctly. Yeah, this guy does uh, short videos za kuencourage watu. And he's doing amazing. I'm even in his uh, WhatsApp group whereby he said Every day you have to receive a message, an encouraging or insp an inspiring message from him. Every day, every day. And I'm telling you even the reason as to why I found myself doing this or what made me decide now, let me start this thing. It was because of this guy. Dalman, if you'll ever watch this thing, because I know you will ever one day watch this, I look up to you. I look up to you. I watch your videos. I read your messages that you said every day and I'm always encouraged and inspired by your videos and your messages. Yeah. That's one person I look up to also. Yeah. That was the last question. <sighs> I did it. <laughs> I hope today's video was more I was more courageous than the other videos. I hope so. I'm trying. I'm getting used to the camera. Yeah. And I'm feeling happy that finally I'm doing something that I've been wishing to do. 
and you guys are supporting me very very much aki i love your messages aki, all the messages i'm getting from you there for encouraging me and i'm so grateful i'm so so grateful aki i'm so happy help me to share my videos yeah and get me to 100 subscribers as i'm doing this video my subscribers are 79 now ni wengi watu wangu hao ni watu wengi sana because someone told me mtu tu ali subscribe alafu akanikamwambia unaona vile subscribers wanapanda akaniambia acha nikwambie kitu bt ingekuwa ni kanisa umeanzia ikiwa na watu by that time i had 60 subscribers kanisa ya watu 60 hiyo si kanisa i was like hey yeah kwanza wengi <laughs> So kuwa cool, hata na 100 subscribers those are so many people na kama out of those people nikisema kitu ina one encourage i'm so happy that's my gender kwa each channel every time i do a video i inspire someone and i encourage someone and unasikia at least leo nimesikia kitu imeni encourage from bt yeah so that's it that's it for today Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your for subscribing to my channel. Continue subscribing, guys. Show me some love by subscribing because I love you so so much. I love you so so much. And God will always bless you. Yeah? When you lift me up, God will lift me. And I pray for you. In fact, I pray for you every day, every day. I pray for you, my subscribers and viewers. Continue subscribing. Thank you very much. And remember this. God has not forgotten you. It's just a matter of time. And he will make everything beautiful for you. Just keep the faith and be positive. Bye guys, bye bye, see you in my next video and God bless you so much.